Hello, my very most beautiful Aries. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your February weekly reading. This reading is going to go from the 20th, no wait, hold on, from the 14th through the 20th. Now it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open and everything that you guys are going to need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Aries, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aries energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Got the moon card in the reverse. Ten of swords in the reverse. The Eight of wands. And the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Death card at the bottom of the deck. Nine of pentacles. Okay. So something's becoming super clear to you. Okay. Something's becoming super clear to you. And I feel like maybe before there were some aspects of the connection that were um, maybe hidden from you. Or maybe you felt like you lacked understanding about like why something happened the way it did. Why something ended the way it did. Or, um, you know, why somebody treated you the way that they did. Or you lacked some kind of closure or something of that nature. Okay. Um, but it seems to me that, you, you know, you're getting all the clarity that you need. You're getting all the answers that you need. Or you're, you're seeing, you know, where where you don't really need um, as much clarity as you thought. Okay, something like that here with this um, moon card in the reverse. I feel like your path is becoming more clear to you moving forward. Um, I, I do feel like this is kind of talking about an ending, this death card, but it's, it's so much more than that. Um, it's not just, um, you know, an ending. It is, it's like a brand new beginning. And it, that sounds so cliche, but, you know, that's what this is. It, it, it's not just death. It's um, you know, death and rebirth, it's transformation, okay? And I, I do feel that, especially with this moon energy being here in the reverse, it's like um, what you want now. So it's like something has ended, but what it has shown you, what is clear to you now um, is, is what you want now, what you want to be, who you want to be, what you want in life, what you don't want in life. Um, it's really showing you. Um, so it, it, a lot of stuff is becoming clear to you. Um, there's still maybe things that aren't, but, you know, there's a lot that is. There's more that is, okay? Nine of Pentacles. Um, you know, I feel like this is definitely some major transformation, major glow of energy. Nine of Pentacles, death card. Okay, that's a major transformation. And it's it's getting to be really good on your own. And I think that's a really beautiful energy. You know, we got the Ten of Swords in the reverse in your heart space. Being able to admit to yourself that there was something here um, that got drug out a lot longer than it should. Like, you're, being able to admit to yourself, like, you know what? I should have done this a long fucking time ago. You know, I should have, I should have put me first a long time ago. I should have, you know, um, I should have recognized my worth and my value a long effing time ago. You know, that's this kind of energy and it's in your heart, like, like where you're ready for this transformation because you realize how much you deserve it and you realize, you know, that you should have done this a long effing time ago. And we got the eight of wands here. And we got the eight of wands here. Uh, so I feel like this is fast forward movement from you. It's also quick success. That's your intention. Your intention is to take off and to not let anything stop you, to not let anyone slow you down. And I love this for you because we're about, you know, we're not too far away from your season, my loves. Okay. And I'm excited about Aries season too. Uh, my Mars is in Aries and, you know, Aries season always is a very productive season for me. For some reason, I get all this extra motivation to just get everything done. Okay, so I'm really feeling Aries season. I'm ready for it. I know you guys are too. And then I feel like that's this energy. You're just ready to take off. You're like, you know what? I've let the situation hold me down long enough. I've let it, you know, I let it drug on long enough. Now I'm taking off. And like this energy, like nothing's stopping you, okay? Um, it's a really powerful, um, very, very empowering type of energy. Um, major, major transformation type energy. And the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. For your action um to me this feels like where you've been lacking self-care 
you're done. You're not, uh, the Queen of, Pentac Queen of Pentacles to me can be at like being at a crossroads energy too. Not really, especially in the reverse, you know, being at a crossroads, not really sure where to invest your time and energy and effort into. And it's like, you're done with that. That's what that energy is. It's like, it's like, I am pushing forward. I am moving out of this. I'm done with that. Okay. I know exactly where to put my energy and it's in me. <laughs> it's right here. Let's take a look at the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with. See what popped out. The emperor. Are we going to find us an emperor? That is your energy, though. I love that. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Ton of swords and the magician. Yeah, manifesting something. Manifesting something very powerful after ending the king of pentacles. Are you going to find a divine counterpart here? If you guys are starting a business or have a business, that looks really promising for that. Okay. That King of Pentacles popping out, that Emperor popping out. Some of you guys are using, like, transmuting energy. Some of you guys are using um, what's happened here as fuel, okay? Got the Five of Swords in the reverse. So this is an X person. I wouldn't even add it. Okay. So, Five of Swords in the reverse. Someone's unhappy without you. Someone's sad. Someone's hurting. Five of Swords in the reverse. Someone's feeling all kinds of remorse for what they've done here. Um, not in the best control over their emotions either with that energy. Not in the best control over their emotions. They feel like you're shutting them out here. They feel like you're being a little cold-hearted to them. They feel like you're emotionally detached or guarded when it comes to them. And as you should be. And, um, you know, Justice in the reverse. They still don't have good intentions though. Okay, they don't have good intentions. This is showing up for their true intentions, justice in the reverse. So they don't actually plan on making things right, regardless of what they say. So when you get this ex coming back in, you know, saying all them things, saying all the right things, because they know you and they know what to say, you know, remember this card right here. They do not have good intentions and you guys are about to take off and they don't want to see you shine. Okay. Um, Hangman hey in the reverse, I do feel like they're going to move into a space where they don't, they're kind of forced to release it because I feel like you're not letting them in. Um, so this is just that energy, guys. You guys are on you guys are on the precipice of something major, okay? Some major transformation, some major changes, major glow-ups, major success, major forward movement. You know, don't let this person, um, don't let this person um, take you off of that, okay? Because they don't have good intentions here, and that's something to remember. They're unhappy, so they want to see you unhappy because they feel that they're, they feel you slipping away, Okay. They feel you slipping away. Page of Cups in the reverse. They feel like you're blocking them out. Seven of Wands. They see that you're defending your position on the hill. They see that you're, you know, guarded against them, that you're, you know, have that sense of conviction. So they're trying to offer you something and then they see, this is like telling a whole story. You can't even make this shit up. Um, they see it. They see they're trying to come in here and they see that you're not taking it. It's a real fortune in the reverse. They see it's not getting them anywhere. Okay. So they're, they don't have good intentions. They don't like that you're blocking them out. They don't like that you're doing good. They don't like that they're losing you here. So just keep keep that in mind, my loves, because you guys are on the precipice of something major, okay? Um, I can't wait to see what this turns out for you. But this is what I have for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements and everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. Um, so my loves, if you guys want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.